Welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. On tonight's programme, our five contenders will answer questions on 80 years of cricketing rivalry, the man who designed the Mini, the car that is, one of the great 19th century playwrights, the Queen who ruled for over 60 years, and the man who said citizens are mightier than the state. A minute and a half for those subjects and two minutes on general knowledge. No teammates on the quiz. They are each alone in that black chair. And the winner goes through to the grand final. So let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Lucy Glass. Your occupation? Stay-at-home mum. And your chosen subject? Queen Victoria. Cool. 64 years on the throne, all in 90 seconds, starting now. What was the name of Victoria's half-sister with whom she spent her early years at Kensington Palace? Theodore. Yep. Which advisor to the Duchess of Kent was instrumental in the creation of the oppressive regime used in Victoria's upbringing known as the Kensington System? Sir John Conroy. Yes. At which chateau did King Louis-Philippe entertain Victoria during her first trip abroad in 1843? Uh. Slosh Heisberg? Chateau Deux. What was the name of Victoria's German governess turned confidant who was sent back to the continent in 1842 because Albert disliked her influence over his wife? Baroness Lazen. Yep. Yeah. After visiting which summer residence where the Prince Consort was born, did Victoria write, if I were not who I am, this would have been my real home? Pass. What title conferred on Victoria by Parliament in 1876 was formally proclaimed on the 1st of January 1877? Empress of India. Yes. Lord Elgin, the Viceroy of India, was rebuked by the Queen for refusing to acknowledge a Christmas card sent by whom? Her mother? No, her munshi, Abdul Karim. Which Coburg physician and secretary to King Leopold was a trusted advisor to Victoria both before and after she became Queen? Pass. What is the name of the widow's house on Loch Mech, where Victoria retreated after she remodelled it into a 15-room residence in 1868? Balmoral. Uh, no, Glassout Shield. In 1872, Victoria attended a service at St Paul's Cathedral to give thanks for the Prince of Wales' recovery from which disease? Typhoid. Typhoid is correct. You had uh, two passes, Lucy. That uh, Coburg physician and secretary was uh, Baron Stockmar. And the place where she said, if I were not who I am, this would be my real home, was the Schloss Rosenau. You've scored, Lucy, five points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. Your name is Keshava Guha. Your occupation? Both graduate student. And your chosen subject? Death cricket between England and India. A rivalry that dates back to the first match ever played between the two countries at Lords. 90 seconds starting now. Who won the Player of the Match award after England's 1000th Test match was played against India at Edgbaston in August 2018? Sam Curran. Yep. What feat was achieved by Rahul Dravid as a stand in opener in India's first innings at the Oval in August 2011? Carrying his bat? Yes. At what stadium in Mumbai did India host England from 1951 till 73? Test matches are now held at the Wanghedi Stadium. Brabourne. Yep. Yeah. In June 1974, who was the only player to reach double figures with 18 runs when India were dismissed for 42 runs at Lords, their lowest test innings total? Abid Ali? No, Eki Solkar. Who is the only cricketer to have played test matches for both India and England? Nababa Pataudi Senior. Yes. Who was the captain of India when they won a test series against England for the first time? Ajit Vadekar. No, Nari Contractor. At what ground did Geoffrey Boycott score 246 runs in an innings against India? He was then dropped for the next test for scoring too slowly. Edgebaston. Headingly, India played England in the first test match at the Saurashtra Cricket Association Stadium in Rajkot, Gujarat in November 2016. By what other name is the stadium known? Uh. Pass. What was the name of the Indian touring team captain who did not play in the inaugural Test match at Lords in June 1932? It was said he had more Rolls Royces than runs. 
Maharaja of Porbandar. Yes. Monty Palliser made his debut for England at Nagpur in 2006. Whom did he trap a leg before wicket for his first test match dismissal? Tendulkar. Tendulkar is correct. You had only uh, one pass, Kashava. The other name for the Saurashtra Cricket Association Stadium was Kandari. You've scored six points. And our next contender, please. And your name is? Sanjo San. Occupation? Chemical engineer. Chosen subject? The designer of the Mini, Sir Alec Isigonis. The man who designed cars and raced them in 90 seconds. Starting now, what vehicle designed by Isigonis was the first British car to sell a million units and is generally reckoned to have made more money than the Mini? Morris Minor. Yep. At what institution did he study for a diploma in mechanical engineering after he moved to London with his mother? That's it. Yep. He joined Morris Motors in 1936. Which section of the car did he work on after he refused to work on rear axles? Suspension. Yes. At what motor racing circuit did Isigonis Isigonis participate in probably his first competitive event, the Junior Car Club's High Speed Trial in May 1925. Brooklyn. Yes, his knighthood was announced in the same month as the two millionth Mini was manufactured. What was the year? 1969. Yep. What nickname was given to the Mini pre-production prototypes following a visit to the Paris Motor Show in 1957 by Isigonis and other members of the design team? Sputnik. Yep. With which friend did he build the lightweight special hill climb car in the 1930s? The car was described by the Racing ace John Bolster has one of the most amazing specials ever constructed. George Dawson. Yep. In 1969, he took up a role as a consultant on the design of new motorbikes for which motorcycle company? Pass. What was the name of the medal awarded to Isigonis by the Royal Society in 1966 for his contribution to car design? Levy Hume Gold. Yep. Which cultural centre in London staged an exhibition of his drawings and sketches in 1970? Institution of Contemporary Arts. Correct. What was the last production car designed by Zigonis? Pass. He left Morris Motors in 1952, shortly after it merged with Austin to form the British Motor Corporation. What company did he then join before he was recruited back to BMC three years later? Alvis. Is correct. You had two passes. The uh, last production car designed by Zigonis was the Austin Maxi. Maxi. Yep. 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 <laughs> and... Um, the uh, motorbike firm was Norton, Norton Villiers. Yeah, you've scored those, Sanjoy, ten points. <laughs> and our next contender, please. And your name is? Hamish Cameron. Your occupation? Retired IT manager. And your chosen subject? The life and times of Thomas Paine. The Englishman who showed Americans what independence could and should look like. Starting now, Paine wrote his major work, The Rights of Man, as a response to the book Reflections on the Revolution in France. Who was that book written by? Edmund Burke. Yep. These are the times that try men's souls, is the opening line of the first of a series of essays by Paine that are known collectively by what title? Pass. He was elected to the French National Convention in 1792, even though he spoke little or no French. Which department did he represent? Carly. Yes. In the Age of Reason, Paine affirmed his belief in a supreme being and the rejection of organised religion. What term denotes those beliefs? Deist. Yes. When Paine was working in Lewis as an excise officer, he spoke frequently at a local debating society that met at the White Hart Inn. What was its name? Hedron Club. Yep. What was the name of Payne's friend who was a fellow member of the National Convention and translated the first part of The Age of Reason? Lantanas. Yep. Who gave Payne a letter of introduction to his son-in-law, Richard Bash, in Philadelphia before Payne sailed to America in 1774? Benjamin Franklin. Yes. In which work of 1796 did Payne make radical suggestions, including the payment of an annual pension of £10 to everyone aged 50 or over? Thought on future government? No, agrarian justice opposed to agrarian law. During the American War of Independence, Payne served briefly as secretary to Daniel Robedeau and then as aide de camp to which other general? Green. 
Yes, to which French aristocrat who'd fought with the Americans against the British did he dedicate the second part of the rights of man? Lafayette. Lafayette is correct. You had uh, one pass, Hamish. The American Crisis was the uh, series of essays that began These are the times that try men's souls. Just that one pass, Hamish, you have eight points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. And your name is? Carol Stead. Your occupation? Chef. And your chosen subject? The plays of Henry Gibson. One of the world's most performed playwrights, apparently. 90 seconds on him, starting now. What is the full name of the title character in Ibsen's play, The Master Builder? Halvard Solness. Yes, a doll's house opens in the house of Torvald and Nora Helmer on what day of the year? Christmas Eve. Yes, when Piergint first encounters the creature known as the Boig in Act Two of the play, he asks him, who are you? Twice. What is the Boig's single word answer both times? Hmm. Myself. Yes. Ibsen's play Hedda Gabler is named after the central character. Gabler is her maiden name. What is her married surname? Tesman. Yes. In what country is Piergint dining with Mr Cotton and others at the opening of the fourth act of the play? France. Morocco. In The Wild Duck, Helmar asks Gregor Zverla who he would want to be if he were not himself. He replies that, given the choice, I should like most of all to be a clever what? Dog. Yes. In When We Dead Awaken, Professor Rubik's masterpiece is a sculpture of a young woman awakening from the sleep of death. What's it called? The Resurrection Day. Yes. Which of Ibsen's plays takes place entirely within the country house of Mrs Helene Alving, the widow of the former Chamberlain to the King? Ghosts. Yes. In Hedda Gabler, the academic Eilert Lovborg dies after he shoots himself during an afternoon visit to the rooms of which red-haired woman? Mademoiselle Diana. Yes. What name is given to the character Vargin Little Eyolf because she wanders around the country driving away rodents? The Rat Wife. Yep. Ibsen's first play was written when he was 20 years old and is set in ancient Rome. What's it called? Catiline. Yep. That is correct. Uh, no passes. Carol, you have... Ten points. <laughs> so, that's the end of the first round. Specialist subjects. We now move on to the general knowledge round. So, it is time to ask our five semi-finalists to join us again together for the first time in the studio. And at this stage, of course, our five contenders do not know how each other has performed in the first round. So let's put them out of their misery and tell them. In fifth place, five points, Lucy. Fourth place, six points, Keshava. Third place, eight points, Hamish. Joint first place, ten points apiece, Sanjoy and Carol. And they will now each get two minutes of questions on their general knowledge. And if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes will be the winner. So let us get on with it and ask Lucy to join us again, please. And uh, you've got a bit of ground to make up, Lucy. You've got five points, but two minutes of general knowledge. So let's see how you do. Here we go. A work on evolution first published in 1859 is generally referred to by its abbreviated title On the Origin of Species. Who wrote it? Charles Darwin. Yep. Which pianist and composer born in Hungary in 1811 was baptised with the Christian name Franciscus but is generally known as Ferenc or Franz? List. Yes. In which women's football tournament did the host nation, the Netherlands, beat Denmark 4-2 in the final in August 2017? The World Cup. No, the UEFA Women's European Championship. Who plays the title role in the 2000 film version of the Dr Seuss book, How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Jim Carrey. Yes. What is the title of Emily Bronte's only novel, first published in December 1847, almost exactly a year before her early death and tuberculosis? Weathering Heights? Yep. What term that comes from the Latin for guidance can mean a regulated system of diet and exercise or a ruling group or government, especially an oppressive one? 
regime? Yes. What town in northern Burgundy on the banks of the River Serene gives its name to a classic dry white wine whose aroma has been described as flinty or stony? Chardonnay? Chablis. In American tradition, what symbol tied to a tree denotes an anticipated welcome for someone missing or coming home from the army or prison? Yellow ribbon? Yep. Keep the Aspidestra Flying, published in 1936, chronicles the struggles of Gordon Comstock, who gives up his job as an advertising executive to become an unsuccessful poet. Who is the author? Pass. The album Golden, that was influenced by country music, became a singer's sixth UK number one album in April 2018. Which singer? Kylie Minogue. Yes. Katie Holmes played Joey Potter in a television series set in Cape Side, a small coastal town in Massachusetts. What series? Dawson's Creek. Yes. Which statesman, who served three terms as Foreign Secretary between 1830 and 1851 and two terms as Prime Minister between 1855 and 65, is widely associated with the term gunboat diplomacy? Benjamin Disraeli? No, Palmerston. Which people who live mostly in parts of Turkey, Syria, Iraq and Iran are one of the largest ethnic groups not to have an independent state? They were promised one by the 1920 Treaty of Sevres that was never ratified. Israelites? It was the Kurds. Yup. Uh, one pass, keep the aspidestra flying, was written by George Orwell. You now have, though, Lucy, 13 points. Thank you. And now, Kishava again, please. And uh, you start out with six points, Kishava. Thirteen. The score to beat as it stands. Let's see how you do with your general knowledge. Here we go. By what name are the Yeoman Warders of the Tower of London better known? Bath. Which rock band formed in Sheffield had their sixth consecutive UK number one album in May 2018 with Tranquility Base Hotel and Casino? Orche. Arctic monkeys. What word that comes from the Latin for to take sacred objects describes the misuse or abuse of anything holy? Defile. Sacrilege. In what 2018 film sequel does the mutant mercenary Wade Wilson bring together a team of fellow mutants to protect a young boy with supernatural abilities from Cable, a brutal time-travelling cyborg? Uh, X-Men. Deadpool 2. What colour snooker ball is potted after the brown in a normal final clearance of the colours? Pink. Blue. A salad that consists chiefly of romaine lettuce, crouton, egg, olive oil, Worcestershire sauce, parmesan cheese is named after the Italian chef who created it in 1924 at his restaurant in Tijuana, Mexico. What's it called? Fever? Yeah. What term that comes from the Greek is used for an extreme allergic reaction caused, for example, in some people, by eating nuts? Uh, urticaria? Anaphylaxis. Who first achieved critical acclaim with his 1874 novel Far From the Madding Crowd? Hardy. Yes. Which theoretical physicist was Lucasian Professor of Mathematics at Cambridge University from 1979 to 2009? Hawking. Yeah. Mahé, Ladigue, Praslin and Silhouette are the principal islands of a republic in the Indian Ocean that has become a popular tourist destination. What's it called? Maldives. Seychelles. An English naval captain commanded the first ship known to have crossed the Antarctic Circle on his voyage of exploration from 1772 to 1775. What's his name? Thompson. Captain Cook. Johnny Harris plays Agamemnon and Jonas Armstrong plays Menelaus in a 2018 drama series about the fall of which city? Uh, Pompey. Troy. What is the third largest city in Scotland? It's located on the northeast coast and is home to the third oldest Scottish university. Aberdeen. Founded in 1495, Aberdeen is correct. Who won the first of his two Booker Prizes for the 1988 novel Oscar and Lucinda about a couple who meet on a boat to Australia and discover they are both compulsive gamblers? Peter Carey. Is correct. You had one pass. The yeoman warders of the Tower of London are better known as beef eaters. You now have Kishava... 11 points. <laughs> and now Hamish again, please. And Hamish, you start out with eight points. The score to beat at the moment, still 13. Here we go. General knowledge. In 1984, who performed their Olympic gold medal winning ice dancing routine to Ravel's Bolero? Or one Dean. Yep. What Bank of England note was last issued on the 31st of December 1984 and ceased to be legal tender on the 11th of March 1988? One pound. Yep. The opening lines of a poem by Alfred Lord Tennyson are half a league, half a league, half a league onward, all in the valley of death rode the 600. What poem? Yeah. Which American First Lady has been played by Natalie Portman, Jacqueline Smith and Joanne Wally? 
Jackie Kennedy. Yeah. How many faces does the solid figure, the dodecahedron, have? Twelve. Yes. Which British player scored two goals in Real Madrid's 3-1 defeat of Liverpool in the Champions League final in Kiev in May 2018? Gareth Bale. Yes. What word that means gaunt or wild-looking originally referred to a hawk that had been caught after it reached adulthood? Pass. Boltardi is a popular variety of a vegetable that can be pickled, boiled in its skin or used to add colour and flavour to salads. What vegetable? Me too. Yep. A country at the northern end of the Bay of Bengal is almost entirely bordered by India, except in its southeastern corner, where it has a border with Myanmar. Which country? Bangladesh. Yes. The Titanic left from an English south coast port on its fateful voyage in April 1912. The Sea City Museum was opened there on the 100th anniversary of its departure. What port? Something. Yes. An author's first novel, The Mysterious Affair at Styles, was turned down by a number of publishers before it was finally accepted by Bodley Head. Who was the author? Christie. Yes. In what town, whose name is included in the alternative title of Gilbert and Sullivan's opera The Mikado, does the action take place? Titty Poo. Yep. Sorry, we're closed was the last line of the last episode of American television sitcom shown in 1993. Which sitcom? Cheers. Yep. What title, indicating headship of a loose confederation of lands in Western and Central Europe, was ascribed to Charlemagne from 800? It was finally renounced by Francis II of Austria in 1806. Holy Roman Empire. Yep, that is correct. Your time is up. You had one pass. The word that means gaunt or wild-looking is haggard. You have now, Hamish, 21 points. <laughs> And now, Sanjoy again, please. And Sanjoy, you start out with uh, 10 points, and all of a sudden the score to beat has leapt up to 21. Let's see how you can do. Here we go. Which common vegetable releases a tear inducing chemical irritant called synpropanethial S oxide when it's cut? Onion. Yep. Who was the classical violinist who recorded albums based on music of Jimi Hendrix and The Doors, and one that features a vocal by Boy George? Pass. What major railway terminus opened by the London and South Western Railways in 1848 is used by commuter trains to South West London and Surrey and mainline trains to cities such as Southampton and Salisbury? Waterloo. Yep. The classic Japanese dish of seafood or vegetables deep fried in a light batter and served with a dipping sauce is known by what name? Tempura. Yep. Whose second album, entitled J. Lo, reached number two in the UK charts in 2001? Jennifer Lopez. Yep. The name of what academic discipline comes from the Greek for lover of wisdom? Philosophy. Yep. The headquarters of the Professional Footballers Association is in which city? Manchester. Yep. Debrecen, Miskolc and Szeged are cities in which central European country? Czech Republic. Hungary. A Scottish national hero who defeated Edward I's armies of Stirling Bridge in 1297 but was himself defeated at the Battle of Falkirk in 1298 was finally executed in London in 1305. What's his name? Robert the Bruce. No, Sir William Wallace. Which Lancashire town is featured in the Beatles song A Day in the Life? Morecambe. Blackburn. Who plays Bosley, the liaison between the Angels and the mysterious Charlie in the 2000 film version of the television series Charlie's Angels? Pass. Which so-called play for voices opens at night when the dreams of the sleeping citizens of the village of Saregeb are revealed? Under Milk Road. Yes. What did the initials CPGB stand for in the name of the political party formed in 1920 that wound itself up in 1991 and reformed as the Democratic Left? Communist Party of Great Britain. Yes. The name of what type of severe headache with typical symptoms that include sensitivity to light comes originally from the Greek hemicrania, meaning half skull? Migraine. Yes. Which city in Missouri has an NFL football team called the Chiefs and a professional baseball team called the Royals? Kansas City. Kansas City is correct. You had two passes. Um, it was Bill Murray who played Bosley in uh, Charlie's Angels, and that uh, classic violinist was Nigel Kennedy. Mm. You have scored, Sanjoy, 20 points. <laughs> and finally, Carol again. Please. And, Carol, you start this round with 10 points. 21, still the score to beat. <laughs> Here we go. Call Me Ishmael is the opening line of which novel by Herman Melville? Moby Dick. Yep. 
Oberto, Conte di San Bonifacio, that had its premiere at La Scala in 1839, was the first performed opera by which prolific composer? Verdi. Yes. What term from the old French for earth dog is used for a small dog originally bred to flush out burrowing animals from their lairs? Dachshund. Terrier, which husky-voiced actor provides the speaking voice for Jessica in an uncredited appearance in the 1988 film Who Framed Roger Rabbit? Kathleen Turner. Yes, who became Britain's first Olympic track champion in 12 years when she won the 800 metres in Athens in 2004? Paula Radcliffe. Kelly Holmes, which actor who went on to play James Bond had television roles, including the title character in the 1980s series Remington Steele and Ian Dunross in the miniseries Noble House? Pierce Brosnan. Yep. Astrophobia is an exaggerated fear of what meteorological phenomenon? Stars. No, lightning. Huh? The Arafura Sea lies between the southwest coast of the island of New Guinea and the north coast of which country? <sighs> Sri Lanka. Australia. Which duo made up of the twin brothers Charlie and Craig Reed had their first chart entry with Letter from America, a number three hit in 1987? The Proclaimers. Yep. What popular name was given to Ronald Reagan's Strategic Defence Initiative, a programme to develop a system to destroy incoming nuclear missiles in flight? Polaris. Star Wars. The Valley of Fear, serialised between 1914 and 15, was one of the full-length stories to feature which fictional detective? May Gray. Sherlock Holmes. What is the name of the electrical device used in an emergency to stop a rapid fluttering motion of the heart and restore normal rhythms? Defibrillator. Yes. In Britain, horseradish sauce is traditionally served with what roast meat? Beef. Yep. Who wrote the 1999 novel about a single mother who sets up a chocolate shop in a French village against the wishes of the local priest? It was made into a film starring Juliette Binoche and Johnny Depp. Joanne Harris. Yes. What name is shared by islands off the coast of Northumberland, the northwest coast of Anglesey, and in the Firth of Clyde? Oh. Take a guess. You might as well. Hebrides. No, might have been. Yeah. Holy Island. There you go. Um, Carol, no passes. You've scored 18 points, and that means Hamish is the winner. <laughs> well, he held on to the lead. Let's have a look at all of the scores. In fifth place with 11 points, Kashava. In fourth place, 13 points, Lucy. Third place, 18 points, Carol. Second place, 20 points, Sanjoy. First place, 21 points, Hamish. <laughs> Which means, of course, that Hamish is tonight's winner and he goes through to the grand final. Congratulations to him. And if you would like to be a contender on the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at mastermindquiz. Do join us again next time for more masterminds. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. <laughs>